that was made that they would set up a health, a national health commission. A national health commission to address the question of the pay of uh, doctors or to work to address the question of the people who are employed in the health, uh, health sector. I think it's that time has come for us to consider delivering on that, pro on that promise or not. Let us form a national mechanism for hiring and rotating doctors. Because right now, when the doctors go to the counties, the chances for growth are not there, chances for study are not there, chances, chances to do what are not there. It's just like you are consigning them to what some people, some people call the Kaburi la Sahau. So we need to do that. The other thing, we need to interrogate the Constitution very well in the fourth schedule. Did the people of Kenya really devolve health? And if they did, did they devolve both primary and secondary health? I think the fourth schedule for me when I read it, I find that it was primary health that was devolved while the counties were charged with the duty of preventing people from falling sick. But once somebody fell sick, the national government would take over. Because what was devolved, <clears throat> what was retained at the national government is something called national health, ref national health referral facilities. When we devolved, we considered them to be national hospitals or centers of excellence in uh, Kenyatta and Moi referral, we forgot that some of, some of those centers of excellence were like Matare, level four, but were centers of excellence in terms of mental health. The spinal cord injury hospital is only, is, is, a, national, is a national hospital, but it's a level four hospital for a center of excellence. In Alupe, you have got a center of excellence in Busia for mm. Senator, one minute, one more minute. Thank you very much. So we need to go back and look at the architecture that the people of Kenya gave in terms of devolving or not devolving the health sector. And then we also need to make sure that the money follows what is devolved. Right now, I would expect the minister to come and tell us that this, this is the percentage of the budget for health, and this is what goes to counties. Because if you look at the, the bulk of the money remains in Nairobi. And that one cannot be accepted. We need to make sure that the money goes on the ground and the health facilities are revival and operational. As to the people who are dying because of the strike, the government should know that it can be sued for the duty of care and negligence. And they should not take this lightly. We might have to take the data of people who have died and to sue the government for compensation. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Time up, time up. Senator Betty Montez. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me a chance to also add my voice to this very important.